Look at this, folks. Now, look, I am about to, with the help of my guest, Nate Hairgrove, make life and swing analysis super easy. All you need is a phone. Uh, first off, though, Nate, how are you, man? Welcome to our show. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm doing very well. Coming off of a fun week in Detroit. Mm -hmm. it, tr it truly was. Um, always a fantastic event. Great sporting town. I got to spend some time with you over there, and you and I talked a little bit about on form and so we managed to get together and you showed me this and i kept on looking at this going this is so easy for the user the user in interface is so easy and, and it tells such great stories so i want to get to that but before before we do that let's tell the global audience about you tell us about nate hairgrove please absolutely i'd love to i would love to tell you about nate but i'd love to tell you about nate and on form because that's kind of who we are in 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 com combination so OnForm started just, just two years ago. It was founded by uh, Krishna and Gear, Fish, Gear Fisher and Krishna Ramachandran. Krishna started a company called Ubersense. Yeah. And All your golf instructors who used Ubersense for a while, uh, now you can yeah, tell. Exactly. And then, and then Ubersense moved over to Huddle Technique um, and then sold through acquisition and stuff. And then Krishna met up with Gear, who started a company called Training Peaks, right. which is for your endurance athletes, triathlons and stuff. The two of them had done some work in the past together. They came together and said, let's take our skills and start a new app. And that's kind of how OnForm was born. And we just launched in March of 2020. So okay. talk about timing when pandemic hits, new app launches, the birth of OnForm. No kidding. A, a little bit about you too. I mean, obviously right. you've been with OnForm since the inception of the golf segment of it because you told me that they also do equestrian and there's all sorts of analysis that this thing is able to do, which is cool. Um, you golfer, how did you, how did you get into what you're doing now? Yeah, no, that's a, that's, that's perfect. I am, I am a professional weekend hack. That's <laughs> what I tell people. Um, never played professionally. I played soccer through college and just loved the sport, loved the game, loved it so much that my wife let me name my son, his middle name, Ace, just the passion for the game. We uh, can see Ace in just a little while, folks, if you stay tuned, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll put him on and see how, how bad I've messed his swing up. But no, I've coached golf for a long time, played it for a long time. And then when I met Gear through a, a family member, we started talking about how we could take the video and stuff into golf. And that kind of was birthed uh, that relationship from there, so. All right. Uh, that's that. Um, I, I want to dive into this. And for the folks who are listening on audio, this is available on YouTube as well. Go to markimmelman.com or go to YouTube, just search me and then like this and subscribe it and do your thing, share it like you normally do. Because Nate is going to show us this app and how it works. So uh, do your thing. You have control of the uh, screen. Let's see if we can uh, get going here. If right. it pops up, hopefully. So while that's, while that's going, I'm going to do my best radio yet to and describe to folks at the interface we currently see because we have both a visual and a listening audience. Now, what Nate is showing us listeners is basically what looks like a homepage um, with looks like different, what he calls teams, where it's different teams or files of golfers, golf swings, and they're all um, not chronological in, in alphabetical order. And you've got individual lessons too. So you can sort them by team or by group or by individual and of course they've got a few more little um, admin sort of tools and then a bunch of swing videos on the right hand side so uh, why don't you get into what you're doing and let's use yeah. Connor let's as, as an example yeah i didn't mean to interrupt you let's jump in there we uh we're an app we're an app based company so mm -hmm. we're found, we're found on the app store it's a free download for anyone there's a sub subscription model for individuals if they wanted to take it that route or or coaches but that's really what it is it's an app based and anyone who's got oh, an android iphone android and iphone users both so android has a bit of a lighter version and we're in development we just hired an android developer we're actually trying to catch up on that side for ios but we're ios ios based that's how we started Right. Um, but yes, Android users are able to use on a lighter version. The coaches are all using the iOS version. Gotcha. All Good. right. So if we jumped in, like you just described, Mark, on the left side, you can kind of see um, our, our library of all files, our homes, where we can kind of uh, group up our teams together. If I'm going just with an individual lesson, I can have individuals down there. But really kind of just to start off, we want to see maybe like, how do you record a video? And actually came on a 
Instagram message today. They're like, so how do I record a video? Is that a good place to start? That is a fantastic place because I'll tell you why, folks. The coolest thing about this video for anyone who's tried to video their own swing at the range, right? It's a mission because you have to set it up on the tripod, which is understandable. Then you walk there and you've got to press record and then you go back and you swing. Then you've got to come back and press stop. It's tedious. It's doable, but it's tedious where you guys, Nate, with this on-form app of a streamlined that a little bit. So show us how it's done. We have. So let me jump into just the recording piece of it re real quick. I'll show you. Hopefully you can still see this is my son here. He's getting ready to swing. But before he does, we got a couple of options on the right hand side that I'll kind of just walk you through on the right hand. There's a manual option. So think just regular iPhone camera. You start it. You, you can record a 15 minute video. You stop it. You trim. That's yeah. one option. Mm -hmm. The one below that is called one tap. This is really, I call it a fan favorite. Our coaches love this because what you see Connor doing, there's a wiggle, there's a waggle. I don't know when he's ready to pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. But on the left-hand side of the screen, there's a pre-tap duration and a post-tap duration. So when I tap the record swing, it's going to go back in time two seconds. It's what I've set it to. You can go down to one or three. Right. And then it's going to hold after I tap for two seconds. So go ahead. So you can see I just recorded a two-second video with only one tap of a button. Yeah. I come in here and then quickly see his swing just on the one tap. So Nate is playing this back now. This is done indoors. Um, and the cool thing about this too is it reduces blurring in the club head, which I find fascinating. Um, uh, I'll let you talk about that a bit more. But that one tap function, you just set it up for the duration on either side. You hit tap, you hit record once, and it does its thing. And then from there, you can edit if you need be, right? That's correct. So that's the, that's the one tap option. Right. Another one that we love is the auto detect option. And so I've yeah, actually- I When I saw this, I love this. My, my camera here, and I'm going to just, if you can see it, hopefully, mm -hmm. I've got yeah. a second iPad set up for your listeners. And it's just a kind of a, a box to so step out of the frame, bud, completely out. You'll see that it turns red when there's no one in the frame. Yeah. And it says, go ahead and move inside. So as he steps in the frame and it's green, We've got an auto detection. So as soon as he swings, it's going to capture his swing. <laughs> he's starting or stopping at all. You Okay. Stop for a second. First, yes. okay. If you're listening, what Nate has done, he's basically showing us the screen of his iPad, which is on a tripod pointed at Connor Ace. Coolest name in the game. Okay. And then with this auto detect function, there's like a green block. And if you're standing inside of it, whatever you're videoing, it's green. If you step out of that block, it goes red. So as soon as one steps into the block, this thing starts recording. Uh, this, this to me is going to make life so simple for all and sundry. This is Mark. What you just described is is really a game changer on most ranges because mm -hmm. most of us and and I have a PGA Tour pro that we just spent time with. And he said, you mean I don't have to start and stop and trim my videos anymore? I said, if you'd like to be my guest, but we've done a lot of the work for you. So as soon as the player actually steps into the frame and it turns green. Now, now keep in mind, I could flip this around to selfie mode and he can see a mirror of his swing as well. Okay, cool. Right. So I'm just showing it just for our purposes. So as soon as he takes a swing, you can see on the camera here, my hands are up here. I'm not starting and recording anything, but the, it's saving the swing. Now on the bottom left hand of your screen that you're seeing here, Mark, it was it just turned red because Connor stepped out of the frame. Mm -hmm. But if he stayed there, he can hit ball after ball after ball and it saves every swing. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. I, so, this begs a question for YouTube content creators. All right. Yeah. So, like, here's me. I give golf tips on Instagram and wherever else, and it's the same thing. You bend down, you hit record, you're looking at yourself, you do it. And then it doesn't work and you've got to stop and delete and re-record. You could essentially use this because it picks up sound as well to all your content creators out there, golf tip givers and stuff. You could use Unform for the same process, right? I, I would think so. So we, we have actually taught the model to recognize a golf swing. So the okay. ball doesn't even need to be there. My son and I demonstrated this one day in an Apple store. I was getting one of our phones fixed. One of the geniuses loved golf. We started talking 
he just actually just made a golf swing and the model right. detected that. So it was, it's just the AI that we're using is amazing. Which is also a game changer because all launch monitors, most paraphernalia that people are using, it needs the whack of the golf ball to figure out where things are in space. Well, right. you can just get inside there, do your deal, whatever it is, and it's going to pick up the motion and record it. That's and correct. As you're in there, it's recording. And then, of course, you can edit that file afterwards if need be. And that's right. And that's what you can see. These are the swings that I just took of Connor without touching the start or the stop motion. This is just on the auto detection of him swinging. So here's the some of the other cool features is that we've got all of your drawing tools. And yeah. we've actually enhanced a couple of our drawing tools. So if I wanted to just to do some angles, I've I've got the capabilities of doing that, or just some lines, excuse me. If I wanted to talk okay, about yeah, listeners, what Nate drew there, as I'm looking at the screen, as we're looking at the screen, there's uh, Connor's golf swing that stopped now with arms sort of halfway back, club shaft vertical, and he's got a measurement tool that's measured the hinge between the forearms and the shaft. Uh, there was an arrow, there was a straight line that he could point with, and there's a, a very easily navigatable bar on the right hand side with circles and stuff so once you've quickly recorded you can look back at this thing and start to make illustrations and such and i see i see there's a microphone at the top of the screen so then you can record audio over the top of this video for your lesson or for your self notes even right that's exactly right that that is a that is a really fun feature for students when you've given the lesson and as a coach you you just need to go back and have that, that adult beverage, that cocktail after a long day, and you want to kind of give some feedback to your students, you can hit that record button. You can do your comparison. You can say, Connor, you did a great job here. You hinged properly. Your weights transferred, all of that stuff. Hit stop. Save your voice over that you're, why you're making lines. So why, coach, am I making this line? I can actually verbally give the feedback to my players. Mm. And again, just as a reminder, folks, this is not a golf instructor thing only. Just as me, Joe, club golfer, I'm now wanting to improve, I don't know, let's call it my <clears throat> shaft angle or my wrist. You can video yourself. It's easy to video. Again, the, the recording mechanism is just so easy. And then you can look back at the thing and then start to draw your own lines. And there's a compare function where you can compare before and after or myself to uh, one of these mystery pros that uh, Nate has been recording in Detroit. Uh, he doesn't want to share their names, but everyone was looking at the thing. Trust me, folks, I was watching him. So you can compare yourself to yourself or compare yourself to somebody else. Here's another friend of mine. I was on, we were at Oakland Hills doing a little outing and stuff. So I, if I wanted to compare my son to this professional friend of mine, mm -hmm. I can easily take his swing back to parallel if I wanted to. Right. I have the same drawing tools if I if I wanted to talk about those, right? I've got all the same functions. I can then link both swings together and kind of take them through at impact if I wanted to and, and, and sync the two of those up together. All right. Yeah, that would be that sequence, uh, that, that, that syncing function would be cool if you both got them at impact and then maybe just backed up and you can start to see right. swing pace and stuff like that too in terms of comparisons between faster and slower swings of the club. That is correct. The other thing that I, I wanted to show, if I was going to do a comparison, so I can use my recent files that I've maybe uploaded, or we do have some reference contents from, from uh, previous days that we've saved some, some pros that we've got their content. I've got other files that I wanted to, and then we've got our good friend, um, Justin James. I spent a good bit of time with him down in South Carolina, and we were, we were kind of sent a little teaser out a couple of days ago about Justin. And so if I really wanted to kind of make Connor's feelings feel real bad, I could I could sync them up and take them both back and and, and just show how far off he is on his pivot and whatnot. And Nate not being a golf instructor here, J Justin does a great job of, of being able to show where you should be in the right positions. Uh, he's well built. Uh, for the folks who have not listened to the podcast, we have had Justin James, 2017 World Long Driving Champion on the show fascinating and i talked about his kettlebell routines for strength and how he improves his golf swing with that and uh, we've got some footage i actually put this video that nate sent me 
where you, they turned Justin, you saw the swing, and then turned him into an AI version. So you can see how the joints in his golf swing are moving. So go ahead and uh, yeah, uh, the special feature. This, this one is kind of a head turner, actually. So we've also built within the model of our app uh, the ability to find the human within the frames. All right. And so on the top left corner, for your listeners, I've got a little bit of a skeleton-looking uh, human, maybe a gingerbread man almost. That looks like it. And as soon as I touch that, it actually brings up the, it finds all of the points on the human within the frame. So essentially, so, listeners, are we looking almost like a stick figure with the joints, the ankles, the knees, the hips, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, they just touched with dots. And the cool thing about this is that right side, left side are different colors. Like as I look at this, the left side of Justin, all of the joints are red dots and they're connected by green lines. On the right side is blue. So you can see this sort of spatial relationship between right and left side as you scroll through the swing as well. That's exactly right. And we've got the spine in there, which which is rather important in the golf swing, you know. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to get uh, Joe Jr. in there, trying to understand how to rotate around the spine and, and proper pivots and using their opening their hips up. And, and the this is a visual on top of just the 2D that we take, just the 2D video. Yeah, and, 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 and here's a golf lesson for the folks too, for all the golfers who've now heard, because this is Justin James, right? The guy hits at a country mile, um, and we've got him right at impact, where the left leg is posted up. The, you can see the spine tilt. Uh, it's just an incredible thing. You can see the ground forces, eyes popping off the ground. But spine angle is such a big thing, and so we can see this tilt in the spine there. But it's now not because he just collapsed his right side. You can actually see the differentiation between left hip and right hip and now the right side is lower now the left side is pushed up yeah you know, nate's now drawing the arrow of this so he's now showing the angle how now spine tilting your golf swing is not necessarily you crunching up your trail side this is you getting your hips into a certain situation by using your legs to help that tilting backward to promote the upward contact and the, the higher launch angle with lower spin hopefully that's absolutely correct and, and mark i'll tell you Standing in front of Justin at 150 mile an hour club head speed or whatever his numbers are, 220 ball speed, it hurts <laughs> to sure. be that close. It just hurts to see an mm -hmm. old guy like me watching his swing, but the way that he uses the ground force, which is another piece I wanted just to kind of another integration that we, we've built in is we've, we've connected to a body track map. So now within your- Those folks who don't know what a body track mat is, it's, it's essentially you stand on a mat- and it's a pressure mapping system. So wherever the pressure moves, right, left, toes, heels, whatever, this shows a trace and it shows where the pressure is changing. It's kind of like imagining a Doppler radar for your feet. And I saw the video earlier with Connor's video, how you had it, they're connected. Now for the viewers, you can see how Connor's moving. You see what looks like storm cells on your weather map on weather.com. That's where the pressure in his feet are as he moves right and left and toes and heels. And you can see the pressure trace moving. That's good stuff there, Connor. We we promised that we wouldn't break your 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 podcast with his poor swing. We can get we can bring in professional help and we need it. Yeah, you know what? But here's the thing, and, and I want you to build on this for me because I know you probably will. My vision for this podcast was coming from a kid in South Africa who the only thing I got about golf instruction was our club professional. Mm -hmm. And that's depending on how much they teach us. Most times they're just professionals and stuff like that. Books I could find, magazines I could find, which were in short supply with the old swing sequences inside, which to the day I've cut every single one of them out and I still have those files, right? Mm. In certain spots. But there was never video. There wasn't internet and that sort of stuff. And now you've got a situation with your phone, which everybody has. If you make the investment in a body uh, tra uh, track mat, the, 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 the pressure mapping, you can video your golf swing. You can see where the, how the feet are moving, how the weight's distributed, how the force is moving back and forth. And you can essentially look at this here and go, okay, well, that doesn't look right. And then if you just send it to your coach, because you can email this stuff or your pro or whatever, they can give you quick instant feedback. So, for me, this podcast was about getting information to folks, but helping them to understand what they do. And here you can make sure that your practice is appropriate all the time because you're essentially getting uh, visual stimuli of, of, of what, what's, what's happening in real time. 
I I think you're spot on personally because I am much a I am very much a visual learner. My wife is a school teacher, and she says there's so many different ways that that we as humans learn, mm -hmm. and I have to see, feel, hear, touch, and I need the coach to put me in the right angle and position. But actually being able to see my swing, and 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 then put together what they're saying having 60% of my pressure in my lead foot and 40% in my trail foot standing on a mat and saying, no, I'm the opposite. I was 40, 60 was, is a game changer for just an average weekend golfer like myself. Yeah. Hey, tell me this, um, the body track mat, uh, talk, talk about, cause I'm sure folks might have one, right? Yeah. Um, how easy is the connection to the app? I'm keen to know how that, how that comes about. Oh, that, that's a great question. So the mat that we have is Wi-Fi enabled. I've got one of those little portable battery packs that you plug it into mm -hmm. and it, it sends off a, a Wi-Fi signal. And all I've done with my iPad is I've connected it to our app. So right on the iPad, I just went, found the body track mat. There's no wires connected from my iPad to the mat itself. Okay. Sync it up and away we go. Simple as that, huh? It is as simple as that. <laughs> You're making it awfully simple. No. Well, that was what we wanted to, because we know we have heard and we've learned from coaches that their time is valuable. And mm -hmm. the last thing they have time for is to fumble with technology when the student has come and said they have a half an hour or an hour lesson. We've tried to remove a lot of that friction that the coaches feel mm -hmm. and just being able to pull your phone out, which we all live with it. It's somewhere for most of us. It's living in our back pocket somewhere. We pull the phone out. We hit the record. We save it. Here's the best part is once I've saved the video, I can then take the video. I can share this to my student. They don't have to be on the app. Yeah. I can share this video to my students if I want to. I come up here and I hit share. I can share it to within people on the app. So I've got a, a group of team members that I've got, or if I wanted to invite them, other apps I've got on, I got my messages, my WhatsApp or whatever it may be. I'm, I'm able to share this video with them. So it's really nice for the student to go home, see their video and being able to have that communication, even with their coach, which kind of brings us to a great internal tool. All right. If I were to come and I'm going to pick on my son again, I've got him within my team, my coach, Nate team. All right. Yeah. And, and inside the team, you can see the videos that he and I have shared back and forth. Okay. Okay. And you can see the chat that we've talked about. I'm working on getting the multi-stick. This is a game changer. Here's your here's your workout that we have him working on. This is a, a two way you're communication you're between you're myself. Including, and the you're including workouts in the app too, because I was going to ask this because yeah, and we're all guilty of this, and we all got bad posture and stuff. So we might go for the assessment, the TPI assessment, and then we got our exercises, and then we get in the gym, and we think we're doing the exercise correctly, but we're actually cheating them. So in the gym, you can video yourself too apply your AI image to it. And so you can see how, if the body's hinging properly in the correct areas, et cetera, et cetera, as we're That's, watching now, there you go. Love that you. is exactly correct. So we've got a little bit of a, a gym here in our, our kind of homemade studio. And this is what we do when we, we talk about the squat or the deadlift or this barbell twist and watching Justin James and Scott Stallings and some of these guys who fitness is what they do to yeah. help them get better. We're able to just kind of, talk with his coach and say, here's the movements he's making. He can take this movement, mirror it to where he's at in the golf swing. And he, and it kind of like a, a connection. This is why you train for your golf swing. Okay. I must ask the question because we've had GA Lee of uh, sports box on here and Terry rolls and that yes. um, when you're using sports box, uh, the upload process is a little more intricate and okay. you have to video the action in slow motion. Correct. With, with on form, it's just regular speed videos and off you go, correct? So as far as the uploading process, as long as you've got a good signal, mm -hmm. it's up into the cloud immediately. So there's really no storage that's being taken up on your phone. And, and I, I, don't have, I don't have to video the swing in the slow motion feature. I have videoed at regular speed and it does its thing. That's correct. So I videoed that. Um, so if, if Connor was to take another swing, I've got, I think I showed you some of the different video features that we've tapped into mm -hmm. and on the right hand side, I've got a, all of my camera settings on form. Didn't reinvent the camera. We just tapped into what Apple has provided us, but you. So I can record for your listeners at 720, 30 frames per second, 
up to 1080, 240 frames per second. We also have this. Are you looking at ultra blurring, right? And when you go with a higher frequency there, that's how you elim uh, eliminate the club blurring through impact and at speed. I'm glad you brought that up. So we've thought of that as well. So if I were to go maybe just to this 1080, 60 frames per second before he swings on the top right hand side, you see the words auto exposure. Yeah. If I touch that, the way that you're going to reduce shaft blur is a faster shutter speed and you bring in more light. So what I would do is right now the shutter speed is, is incredibly low. Yeah. We would take this shutter speed down to, you can see how it's getting much darker on your screen. Uh -huh. So then I would open up the lighting in the room a little bit better, take it to about there. And then uh, hmm. let's see if I can hold it and take a swing. I'm a big fan of the one tap. That's a nice action there. I come back here. You'll be able to see not bad lighting. You can see that club face pretty well at the top of his swing. And as he comes back down into impact, you can kind of see. Yeah, that's as close as I've ever seen with a phone camera. That's and and that's all shot right here on my iPad. It's tremendous stuff. Um, I, I almost want to say, and, and I'm not trying to be contrarian. Is there anything else you want to show or, or you want to? No, I was just going to, to your point on the upload time. So the video I just took was at 4.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And there was a little circle that was just starting. It was just showing that it's uploading. Yeah. And now it's uploaded and saved to the cloud. The and so there's no delay back and forth. And, and that's that's where Sportsbox, who has an unbelievably amazing product. And I'm not going to say anything negative because what they do is great for the market. It has to render. And they've got to be able to factor in what the 3D model is. We're shooting in 2D. So yeah. we were able to upload to the cloud immediately and you've got your 2D video right here. Tap on your AI and away you go. Okay, so it begs one more question and then an observation. Um, so we're looking at the 2D model now with the joints highlighted and the, the green lines between the joints from front view, from the caddy view. Right. If we turn if we turn the camera and looked down Connor's line, mm -hmm. it do the same capturing so you could see spine angles and stuff? Absolutely. Of course it would. He's about to show us. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, you ask, I will it. do my best to deliver. All right. So no real golf ball because he was hitting into the simulator screen, but now we go down the line and I can easily add the skeleton feature for the down the line as well. Beautiful. Folks, now you can see if you've been working on, you know, maybe keeping your trail leg more extended or your spine angle. You can see elbows relationship between trail arm and forward arm. It's just beautiful stuff. That, that's that's lovely. So, so I, I guess that's the question answered. The observation, and I'm asking this now as a fan. Mm -hmm. I'm a believer. I want to get this thing. It's sure. as simple as to the app store and and download, or is, is there more to it? If 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 it were any simpler my daughter would be able to figure out I'm teasing. So if I type in, I'm in the app store now for your viewers. Yeah. I type in the word on form and it's going to pop up right there. Video analysis app. All right. And all I need to do is download. It's a free download. You get, I think it's up to 10 videos that you can record for free, no cost. You have the tools, you can do the AI, you can do the drawing. And then we've got different tiered pricing for different use cases. All right. So an individual who maybe wants to diagnose their own swing and, and just use it for an individual purpose, there's a subscription model for that. We've got a coach's subscription model that um, we've got multiple PGA coaches. And you mentioned it earlier, Mark, we're not just golf. Even though I'm kind of the director of golf for OnForm, mm -hmm. the use cases are a little bit mind boggling to me. We, we are, golf is our number one. And then we get into the baseball field. We've got a lot of hitting and pitching coaches. We've got softball, which is right behind that. We have the U.S. track and field, bobsled, skeleton, surfing coaches, skateboard coaches. Yeah. We had a yoga uh, master, yogi master. I want to make sure I was saying something along those lines. Um, you know I, I, I'm going to stop you there because whatever those disciplines are, you know, I've, everyone listening, they've heard this, they've heard... Uh, coaches like you, teachers, instructors, whatever, say, look, there's a big difference between field and real. Mm -hmm. and just looking at the camera image, 
it, it's sort of the aesthetics of it all sort of disguise the real truth of it. But the ability with this, with your little um, the AI animation of where the joints and stuff are, it, it gets into the weeds a little bit. And so it removes some of the feel from the thing and, and you can make a whole lot more an accurate diagnosis of how the body's moving. So I can imagine, you know, someone deadlifting or someone sprinting, yeah. they want their knees higher. You know, it's, it, it's, it's amazing when you see the knee joint versus the knee. And, right. and that's a, it's, it's a telltale thing. We have um, many physical therapists begging for this app and we've been able to deliver because they have patients that are coming to them saying, I want to get back to golf. I want to get back to running. I want to get back to, and this, our technology with the skeleton, the AI is able to show what you said, the visual to what they're actually feeling. They may think their, their knee height is, is proper, or they may think they're rotating properly until they actually see it on camera compared to someone else compared to maybe how they were before uh, an injury. It's kind of getting them back to what they love and, and physical therapists are, are really finding value in our app because of that fact of being able to video watch back playback and then, you know, help them advance. And here's my charge for all of our global tribe folks. Look, checking out your golf swing on this is one thing, but as we just watching uh, someone hitting here. Uh... Oh Yeah baseball tee but to the golfers listening oh beautiful now you got the image of where the legs the knees the hips and stuff are that's beautiful so to that and now you can see how as you move through and you scroll through the video you can see how the joints are moving how the body's rotating open etc cetera, etc cetera. so to that mm -hmm. that's showing movement i wouldn't say folks here's my marching orders get this do it but then go and video yourself when you're putting and go and watch that certain joints aren't moving and certain joints are because people will be surprised how they might feel like they're keeping their head still or whatever. But there's mm -hmm. other areas of the body, like the knees and the hips, which are moving, which shouldn't be for argument's sake. So there, there, there's so many ways that you can take this and look under the hood a little bit and, and then make some informed decisions about your, your golf swing. And if you don't necessarily know what to do, you can take that to your PGA pro, whatever, and say, all right, this is moving. It shouldn't be. What, what should I focus? And so I, I feel like it's a way just to circumvent and, and shorten the time for improvement. Isn't that the truth? The, 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 the faster we can see what we're doing, the faster I think we can improve. Tremendous stuff. Nate, Nate the thing's beautiful. The folks go to the app store to get it. Um, what about if they want to follow you and, and find out a little bit more about yeah. what Hair Grove is doing? No, I appreciate it. We are we are a very small company, but we're growing. We're a company of four. We've got a couple of developers as well helping us, and we're growing our social media platform. Um, huge news for OnForm. We just crossed 2,000 followers today. So that tells you how small we are, but we're growing. It's Get On Form. If you go to look us up on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and uh, Get On Form, we'll be able to help find us. And we appreciate we appreciate being on your show, Mark. Thank you so much for connecting. It was just, it was a pleasure talking with you. It's its a no brainer. And again, I, I have sports box. I use it, but, but, but these two apps, they are fantastic, but they, you can use them in different circumstances. And this is instant, this thing. So if you're on the course and something's not up, it's like, like you say, it's your video, it's into the cloud is right back down. You can have a, a look in the blink of an eye. And so from that point of view, I, I feel like it is real gold. It, it truly is. Oh, I appreciate that. We are we are growing. We just released a new update to the app that's got a lot of uh, bug fixes and, and updates. So that was just released today and it's slowly kind of releasing out. We're working on other integrations that we've heard from coaches. Um, we're huge on feedback. Yeah. Positive, negative. You can call our baby ugly because that's the best way that we can grow. Mm -hmm. So the more chances that we get feedback from coaches, We've partnered with a company that's actually the the stand that helps hold the iPads just based on conversations called iRange Sports. And it's just just the the friendships and partnerships that we're getting alongside is just it's just been beautiful to grow. All right, Global Tribe, the 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 the, the how's it tribe go and download, get on form, I should say, and uh, let us know how it's going. Nate. Yes, thank sir. You. You thank you so much. It, it, it's great stuff and and I love it because I've always maintained, and I will to my dying day, training aids are awesome. Mm. But if you can hit a ball with a training aid and get feedback, whether it's visual, sensory, 
um, sound. Mm. That just takes the thing to a different level. Now you're getting feedback that is all visual and you can practice the hit ball after ball after ball, stay in your green box and get all those recorded so you can have a look and, and then compare them. That's awesome. That's right. Thank you so much, Mark. We really appreciate you being on your show.